I got nothing. Hi. Welcome to Can of Spader Christmas. All right, so now that the baby pack one build is done, I kind of wanted to do a video to wrap things up, kind of a end of the chapter video, if you will. Now I have, oh, before I get to that though, uh, I did get a couple of things in the mail from Hutch Mountain. So if you saw the propane conversion video that I did, uh, Clayton sent me a couple of, of, uh, things that he sells on his website. And so this, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. You see that? So this is a, you would use this to change the oil. So if you've ever done an oil change on a Honda generator, uh, like the one that I have basically screw this into where the the oil tube goes tilt the generator over and then you you know this will pour the oil out and then you can catch it in something um, I previously used I think it was like a three-quarter inch piece of PVC uh, to do this but this uh, I'm looking forward to changing the oil next time uh, the other thing that he sent was something that you put into the uh, the oil filler when you know this is the cap um, because it has a magnet on it and so if there are any shavings that get into the oil this should pick them up so uh, you just replace the the uh, oil cap with this so looking forward to using this too I haven't had a chance to do a lot of testing with this thing but I did do a few tests and I ran the whole thing down um, not dead but but pretty far so I got one cell pack down to about 4.15 and the rest of them were about 4.25 so that's where it started one of them was dropping much faster than the others at that point but all the way down they discharge pretty evenly so so that was pretty good when I charged them back up they all charged up pretty evenly so again uh, I'm pretty happy with the current version of baby pack one the battery has got two six gauge cables between each cell pack and uh, then on the top here I combined them into one six gauge cable six gauge cable is rated at about 37 amps max which equates to about eight or nine hundred watts on the uh, on the inverter output so as a test i went ahead and loaded it up to about 50 amps the cables started warming up naturally so i didn't leave it on there too long but it did occur to me that i you know an emergency situation i may need to pull more from the pack more than 0.2 c um, so I went ahead and replaced those cables with number four cables or, or four gauge cables which is rated at about 75 amps now the breakers are rated at 63 so that's kind of where the cutoff is going to be um, it's close to a thousand amps or, or a thousand watts sorry so it just gives me a little bit more headroom and um, I, I feel like it's a little bit more safer setup so the, the load that I designed this for, uh, you know, my, my wireless router, a couple of computer, actually three computers, I think. Um, I may add my entertainment system to that. I may add a computer in here to that. So, but right now it's between about three and 400 watts. So the 800 watt max at 37 amps will be just fine to handle that. I also added a rotary switch to soft start the system. So position one is going through the resistors. Uh, position two is both the full battery and the resistors. And then position three is just the battery. So this will run in position three most of the time. If I get uh, some kind of fault where the breakers trip and the, the, the capacitors are allowed to discharge, then I'll need to run around the rotary dial, charge up the caps, and then, then we can go on full power. 
I also cleaned up a little bit of the wiring and moved a couple of things around that needed moving. So we should be good now. I got a question about this build ver you know, the cost analysis between this build versus a Tesla Powerwall. Um, would it be better to buy a Tesla Powerwall or, or you know, build your own? Um, a lot of things factor into that. It really depends on what you're building, uh, what is your source of batteries, that kind of thing. Um, first off, this this was mainly a learning experience for me. I just wanted to, to, to see what it would take to build basically a UPS, because that's what I was kind of designing this for. Um, I am now currently on my third commercial UPS for my all my computer stuff and uh, you know one of them got struck by lightning so I guess that doesn't really count but you know it's the typical lead acid 24 volt system so that's what I built here so I was interested in building a more modular system so that I could uh, you know change out components if I needed to um, I also wanted to be able to determine my own capacity um, and, and so that was the primary motivator for, for building this. Now the inverter that I got could be broken down further into component parts. It is a uh, charger, inverter, and MPPT solar charge controller all built into one. You can break those components out. Now, I haven't done a lot of research on this, but to, to answer the question, um, the current Tesla Powerwall, the Powerwall 2, is a 14 kilowatt hour system. So mine's about a third of that. I got a five kilowatt system. I also spent roughly a third the cost of a Powerwall because of, mainly because the BMS, the inverter, um, and, and all the other you know, accessory parts uh, to, to actually build the thing. Um, cell testers, all that stuff is included in my third. So it, it really doesn't scale. You know, if I were to build a 14 kilowatt system, um, I wouldn't exceed what you would pay for a Tesla Powerwall. Let me put it that way. Um, it also, for me, uh, more than half of the cost was the, the the cells. I bought some brand new cells from Jehu's group buy. Um, I bought some cells from uh, Terry at Power to Spare, and I bought some from Tom at uh, Battery Hookup. So, you know, that's going to be the major cost of the system. So, if you have a good source of free or near free cells. Uh, yes, you can save a lot of money on building one of these. Now the part that I did not include is solar panels. I don't have solar panels. Um, the inverter that I bought has got an MPPT solar charge controller, so I could effectively connect up some prepaid energy panels to the inverter and it would charge the battery up. Um, might be a future video. Another very important point about this project was that it justified my purchase of some new tools. Now, Keith Wesley had told me that the man with the most tools wins, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. Primarily, this was for the build experience. You know, if, if you want a Tesla Powerwall, buy a Tesla Powerwall. They're great. If you like building things yourself, uh, this approach will probably be a much more economical approach. It's definitely a lot of fun. Um, and there is a large global community to assist you if you have questions about different parts of it. I pay a lot for electricity, especially during the summer. I use a lot of electricity during the summer. The, the, the power company, the electric company in my area does a fantastic job of providing power for my house. Um, and, and I don't mind paying for, for that service. There's a lot involved in providing power to a house. 
Now, you may be in a different situation. You may not have a power company or your power company may stink. I totally get that. You have to do what you need to do for your particular situation. If you decide to build something, I hope these videos will help you along your journey. I don't recommend that you go out and buy a bunch of solar panels and put them up on your house just so you can sell power back to the power company. You need to use your generated power. They're going to buy it at wholesale prices, so you're not going to make a lot of money off of that. Um, now, if it makes you feel better, knock yourself out. You know, uh, feel free to do that. But from a pure cost perspective, probably not what you want to do. Now, a lot of this is in response to a question that I got, and, and you can go to my last video and, and read that question. Um, and part of it was, you know, could putting solar panels on every house, uh, especially those in the South that get a lot of sun, um, reduce our need for things like coal, natural gas, or nuclear powered power plants? Um, possibly. But those other things aren't going to go away because they are still currently cheaper than the renewables that we have available to us now. Um, and, and I'm talking about national scale here. I'm not talking about your specific situation. Plus, renewables like solar and wind power um, are not available all the time. If there's no wind, there's no wind power. If there's you know, night, there's no solar power. So those other things are still going to be around for quite a while. Bottom line, I did this to learn more about it. Um, now that that's done, I have a lot of work to do for my display for this year. Um, I have a lot of props that need work. Uh, I need to build a couple of new props. Um, I'm going to experiment with some 5 volt pixels. I know that's a big shock to some of you. X Lights has added 3D perspectives to everything, so I need to start playing with that. Uh, there's a new version of Falcon Player out, uh, and a lot of work in that area is still going on. The first prop I'm going to work on is replacing this guy. I have a new design I'm kind of excited about, and uh, so I'll start putting out more prop building videos. I do have another generic Raspberry Pi video to do, uh, but I'm still working through some things on that, so no telling when that's going to happen. I've also had a couple of requests for doing some, uh, you know, a series on some soup to nuts videos, you know, starting from nothing and having a complete prop built. Um, I also just have a lot of stuff to get done between now and Thanksgiving. Should be some neat stuff. Oh, I also need to replace my garage door opener uh, this weekend. I have a half horsepower motor in the, in the current opener. Um, it's starting to flake out a little bit and, and uh, you know, won't open randomly. And so that's kind of ticking me off. I purchased a brand new unit that is a one and one quarter horsepower. Should be able to lift a car with that bad boy. So that'll be my weekend. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Now I shot an email. Uh, so I got six of these and so they... I got five of these when I started relaxing a little bit and then BAM!